Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Awesome Knots video featuring the newest character on the Awesome Knots roster. He's big, he's mean, he's lean, he's literally a fighting machine. Please, everybody, welcome Sentry. Look at this guy, he's fantastic. Now, before we get into his abilities and everything, I'm going to do a little caveat. His abilities are complex. They're going to take some explanation. If you've played Sentry, and he's been out for a day, you probably have, and you don't want to listen to this explanation of his abilities, then please click the button in the upper left. There should be an annotation right here. If you don't click it, you're going to be bored for five minutes. If I see any complaints that people were, oh my god, why do you have to explain it? I have to, it's on you. It's on you. I've done everything I can. You click the button if you don't want to listen to the boring stuff. It'll be on through all the boring stuff, so you'll have no excuse. Be good? Good. Nice. Let's go and talk about his abilities. So, why don't we talk about how he moves first. He's got very slow acceleration. Uh, it takes a little while for him to get rolling, and on top of that, while he's rolling, he doesn't move particularly fast. However, his mobility is fairly high. He can jump fairly high, as long as you do the tapping trick. And he can move horizon excuse me, horizontally fairly far, so long as you do the tapping trick. So... He's got a lot going on for him, which is fantastic in terms of mobility, but he's not the fastest character by any stretch of the imagination, so don't expect him to be able to outrace Frog, Penny, Leon, or anybody else. Uh, for that matter, he'll probably be able to barely outrace or not even outrace a Lone Star, so keep that in mind. His left click is fairly simple. It's actually the simplest of his abilities. What he does is he launches a little ball out. The little ball does 9 damage to begin with and explodes in a small AoE. Uh, once it reaches its max range, it lingers in the air for about a second and a half, two seconds, and then explodes. Uh, the explosion will still do all the damage and all that stuff. It's not like it just kind of fizzles, it actually explodes. So, you can upgrade this to deal more damage, to increase the attack speed, to increase the time that it lingers, to increase the explosion size. You can also upgrade this thing to give it lifesteal, which is really strong. And you can also upgrade this to turn these into little homing missiles, so you can lay down a bunch of them and then click again. And then they'll all home in on the nearest target, which is really quite cool for bursting people down. So now here come the complex abilities that require some explanation. His first one is Black Hole. Well, Black Hole Sun, but just Black Hole. Why not? So there's two phases to this ability. The first phase is a shield. The shield will t reduce the damage that you take by 20% base and will absorb 65% of the damage that you're taking. There are two conditions under which the shield will expire. The first is time. As you guys saw, after a certain amount of time, it just wears off. The second is the amount of damage you take. If you absorb the maximum amount of damage that the shield can absorb, then that's it. That that's 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 the end of the shield. The shield will end prematurely at that point. So once you've absorbed damage, that absorbed damage will directly relate to the amount of damage that you deal with the second part of his ability, which is the actual black hole. So let's go ahead and show you how that works. Okay, so what it does is it's a gravitational pull thing. The farther out on the edges you are, you'll have a lighter gravitational pull compared to if you're in the center of the ability. Um, that's all it does, though, is pull. That's, that's it. That's all. Uh, based off of the damage that you take, the black hole itself will also deal more damage. So if you take a lot of damage, then your black hole will deal a lot of damage. If you don't take any damage, then you're going to deal a very small amount of damage to the black hole. Uh, you can also activate it a third, the ability a third time so, uh, so that way the black hole appears prematurely. So what I mean is if you shoot out the projectile, you can have it extend to its maximum range, or you can just activate it again earlier, so that way you can have it activate like right in front of you, which is, you know, useful to have. So black hole itself is a very powerful ability. It's a great counter initiation. You can upgrade it with damage reduction, um, like increased damage reduction for you. You can upgrade it with increased damage. Uh, there's two upgrades that do that, one for max damage and one for base uh, minimum damage. You can upgrade it so that way you have increased move speed while using the shield, and you can upgrade it so that way uh, you have a um, a stronger gravity component to it. It increases the gravity of the black hole, uh, it, it doubles it in fact. So you can do a bunch of stuff with it to make it very useful. The third ability requires me to actually leave the base to really show off how powerful it can be. So this is your teleportation beacon. You put it down and it leaves a beacon. Everybody can see the beacon. It's 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 not just teams, it's it's everybody. So the opposing team can see my beacon too and lay mines and all that stuff. Ha 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 whatever. So you place the beacon. The beacon lasts forever. You cannot destroy it. No one can destroy it. Um and it will just sit there for as long as you want it to. It's not gonna go anywhere. After a certain amount of time, 
uh, when you feel like teleporting, uh, you can just go, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna teleport to the other end of the level, whatever. So, anytime, from anywhere on the map, as long as you haven't taken damage for the, pa uh, for the past two seconds, you can teleport back to the beacon. There's no cooldown to this, you can do this almost immediately. And you can teleport back to it. So this is a very utilitarian upgrade. The thing has a massive cooldown. Uh, it's almost 20 seconds of cooldown, which is huge in Awesome Knots. It's massive! Like, 20 seconds cooldown in any other MOBA? <laughs> Whatever. 20 seconds in Awesome Knots? Holy crap! It's huge! What the hell? Okay, so you place the beacon and all that stuff. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, look, the icon changed all blue. You know that it's there. Woo, yeah. Problem. If you take any damage whatsoever, you cannot teleport to your beacon. The instant you don't take damage for two seconds, though, you can teleport to it, uh, you know, as much as you want. So, uh, it's, it's usually quite simple. So, that's the beacon. That's the black hole. And that's his left click. Sentry is a very unique character. Um... I, I really I really do have to show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a replay of a game that I played with him. It happened to be my first game that I played with him, and it went rather well. So we'll go ahead and talk about tips and tricks during said re And here we are in the match. We're going to go ahead and talk some, some tips, some tricks. We're going to talk about Sentry during this replay. Uh, this is a match, the first match that I played as Sentry. Uh, so this ought to be interesting. Uh, I did end up winning. We do end up doing decently well, and I start end up uh, I start to do well by the end of the match. But at first, I play the complete pants uh, compared to some other Sentry player that I've seen. So hopefully, I can get better with Sentry. I quite like him. He's a very strong counter initiator. So I'd love to compare him to other characters and other mobas, but other people haven't played all the mobas I have necessarily, so it's not going to work. The best way to describe it is he kind of waltzes into a fight takes what the other person gives, so he's a tank, and kind of goes, I can do better than that, and does that. Black hole. Boom. Now, that did no damage, because it took no damage. Ten damage is like it's a drop on the pond. It's literally useless. Uh, okay, not literally, but it is quite useless. But if you take enough damage, if you do a lot of the tanking, if you kind of initiate with your face, uh, you can do a, quite a lot with it. And I think that's what solidifies his role as a counter-initiator, is just kind of going, okay, I'm going to start this fight with my face. People can just avoid you, but if you uh, if you wait for them to make the mistake of attacking first, so a clunk coming in with an explode, and then you time your black hole, so that way you're like, yeah, you know what, I'll have the shield right about now. I'll go ahead and activate it right before the explode happens. Not only are you taking less damage, but you'll be able to deal a lot of damage in return. So... That's why I consider him a counter initiator. The other reason why I consider him a zoning character primarily is because of his left click. His left click is really good because you can just spam it all over the place. Like at base level, it's level, it's the nine damage mine, and you can place four of them. Like it's 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 useful. It's actually quite good. And uh, there's something to be said for an ability that explodes right base. Like it it, it pushes waves really hard. So you can push with it and farm with it decently well at base, at base level, but you are going to want to upgrade it fairly early, kind of like Genji with his left click, because otherwise you can't farm at all. You can't push turrets really well. Uh, you deal reduced damage to turrets. Like, your left click does not push turrets at all. So you do have to be very, very uh, mindful of that when you pick up Sentry. You're not going to want to pick him up if you don't have any push on your team, because Sentry can't really push. He, like I, like he's a tank. He starts fights. He can kind of do ganks, but he cannot deal with, 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 with pushes. He can stop droid waves, and that's about all he's able to do. So I really like him for that. Like he does a really good job of it. Black hole is massive. Like it's such a powerful ability, and uh, you're gonna see that later on in the replay. Probably at a point once I've, you know, kind of stopped being silent and started commenting a bit more. That was a decent black hole, and I honestly thought that would get the kill, but unfortunately, uh, the penny came out of nowhere and killed our killed our frog. But our frog was a bot, so it's not like I really care. So I walked into the creep wave there to be able to take a lot of damage with my with my black hole, which would allow me to uh, deal more damage with my black hole when I come back. Like I can actually initiate with the thing instead of initiating with my face, like I was talking about before. Like I got a preloaded black hole, which is okay. But it kind of gets rid of uh, one of Sentry's strengths, which is the ability to kind of waltz into the fight and not take enough damage to die in the first place. Anyway, so I've got this black hole ready and everything, and it's a really strong tool. It's hard to land as hell, though. Like, if you've played Sentry yet, it is hard to land. Like, he landed that one because we walked into it, and I landed on that. Uh, landed it on the Ayla because she flew into it. 
but their sentry just walked out of it. The uh, the gravitational pull on it is not as strong as uh, as some people have made it seem, and the damage on it is well, it can be really really bad or really really good depending on how strong or how skilled your opponent is playing. Like if your opponent's playing well, they won't attack you while you're in shield, and you won't be able to do that much damage to to, to compensate. But uh, if you do end up taking a lot of damage to Black Hole, it can be a completely game-changing ultimate. Like, look at that. The Ayla actually almost got away from that. It only took 16 damage because no one attacked me. Uh, so that's that's good play right there. That's really good play. Like, took no, almost no damage. A lot of stuff. Ah, now this Black Hole is going to actually deal some damage. Except for I completely missed with it because it's not easy to land. <laughs> oh, it's harsh. Harsh world for me. Oh, well. And that's me using the beacon to kind of just teleport home, regenerate, and then get right back to the lane a lot faster than I would normally. Uh, and the reason why I placed it on top of the button so that way I could get the flyer droids out at the same time, which is nice. So, there we go. I can get the shield, try to take some damage. Uh, I noticed he's got a shield up. He took a bunch of damage from the flyers alone. Ayla's doing whatever she's doing. But otherwise, it seems like everybody's reset. He linked to his teleporting beacon, which is just upstairs. I guess he just wanted to get the creeps to the point. He missed his black hole entirely, and that's 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 pretty poor for him. I still have mine, but I tend not to use my black hole very often in this game, which is really quite annoying. I should have used it a lot more often. And, th and there, I should have known to let it go for a little bit longer before activating it. But that's, the, that's probably going to be the hardest part about playing Sentry, is learning to land your black holes. And it's also the most important part, because those black holes are the only team fight you've got. Your left click is a good zoning tool, but... It doesn't do a lot of actual damage unless if people walk into a grouping of them. Um, even at max upgrades, it does 13 damage. So that's less than a clunk base attack. It just attacks fairly quickly. That's that's the only bonus. So it does some damage, but it can be easily abused. There we go. Nice kill. Nice kill. I the criminal there. Really, really well done. And that was a good black hole to kind of keep him where I wanted him. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty low. I actually managed to get a kill somehow, so that was cool. So go ahead, teleport home. Now here, here's a cool part about Beacon again. So I go home, I regenerate, I buy some upgrades to my damage, my attack speed, and then poof! I'm back in the fight. Like, that, that is so fast. That is so fast. You can't almost kill a sentry. You have to completely kill a sentry to, to get them off your to get them off your base. That's, that's really quite cool. So like I was saying, Black Hole is probably going to be the hardest part of the character to land or work with at all. Um... See, what I'm, doing, uh, what I'm doing there is actually a really neat trick that you can do with Sentry. Um, if you manage to position the photon mines appropriately, what ends up happening is uh, the explosion will, no matter what, it'll deal damage to the tower, which is good. But having it on the ground and have it still be there means that if they walk over it, they'll take damage too, not just the tower. And then on top of that, since it's the damage is guaranteed to be there, if you run away and the creeps are just walking up, you'll deal damage to the entire creep wave and to the tower uh, anyway. So... Oh, that was that was not good for for the Ayla to do that. But uh, my black hole didn't end up doing anything anyway, so no big deal. But yeah, black hole, huge, really important. Landing a good one, you can catch the entire team with it if you're lucky, and completely turn a fight around because it keeps people exactly where you want them. It's good. Uh, it's good with Raylan. It's good with Clunk. It's good with everybody with a massive AOE attack of some kind. And there's something to be said. Uh, for most of the cast being able to do that. Heck, even Trinomite with explosion size will be huge with Black Hole. Now, Black Hole is, like I said, notoriously difficult to land, uh, unless if the enemy team is not doing very much. Like, if they're moving around a lot, it's hard to land. If they're staying in the same spot the entire time, then it's not super important. Uh, oh, so you can see right now, the enemy sentry has a beacon there. I'm just mining it up. I'm kind of waiting for their sentry to teleport to it. He doesn't end up doing that. Uh, I ended up tossing out a black hole, but Penny just completely dodged it entirely. But she couldn't dodge all the mines. So uh, she lands on the mines and dies anyway. Poor Penny. Sorry, Penny. I'm going to keep mining up this thing. Hopefully he teleports into it. It's, it'd be really funny if he did. I think he does at one point in this game. But uh, not anytime super soon, I don't think. But yeah, the beacon's visible to everybody. So you really do have to be careful where you port in. So mini-map awareness is super important for that. So there's the sentry, he's got a worse life expect than I have. I've, I, w I went into uh, using my photon mines in, in this game, uh, rather than upgrading my black hole, which is not the most popular build. The most popular build that I've seen so far is upgrading black hole first, 
no one has upgraded the teleport very much. Like, everyone just kind of goes, oh, teleport. There we go! <laughs> oh, he landed in all the mines when he teleported. That was really unfortunate for him. That worked out really nicely. And there, I was going to get caught up by the ALS. So I was like, yeah, you know what? No. Before I take any damage, I'm going to just port back. Uh, there we go. Uh, I, I tried to use Black Hole, and it didn't work at all. That's unfortunate. I took a 60 damage eyeball to the face, and now running away. So, so far so good. Go ahead and drop a beacon behind the behind the tower. Now that's normally not where I put it now. Like this is my first game. I'm like, okay, that's a safe place to put the beacon. Yay. But it's not the best place to put the beacon I find. If I had come from if I had put the beacon like on top of the platform right about uh, here, I would have been able to ambush them. Uh, and just that would have been uh, that would have been a really strong way to start off a fight is pop up behind them and then use my black hole shield. At that point, you know, they'll probably panic attack me a little bit. And then I can toss a black hole when I'm behind them. It's a lot harder to dodge. Oh, that had to hurt. That was a decent black hole. Like, it wasn't like a multi-person black hole, but it was something. So there are a couple of people that aren't super good with, with Sentry. Um, Lone Star is a love-hate relationship. Lone Star is really good push that Sentry needs, but bull. Bull, man. I've had so many bad games, uh, or bad moments in games where there's been a Lone Star on my team because I'll black hole and then heal Bull, and the two just don't synergize well together. Oh, three person almost black hole, but it did no damage uh, because I preloaded it. Never preload your black holes. It's actually just completely useless if you preload it. Uh, the mobility, like, you do want some damage on that thing in order for it to be useful. Yay, Photon Mines! Proving to be useful. Wee -hee. And a wasted black hole, fantastic. At least that thing's on a short enough cooldown. The beacon, on the other hand, not so much. It's on a really long cooldown by comparison. It's, uh... Yeesh. Anyway, so he doesn't work super well with Lone Star. Um, he works decently well with people like Frog and stuff because he can keep them in place really, uh, well, you know, long enough that uh, NATO can be extremely useful and all that stuff. Uh, but... What you're trying to do is play around with what your opponents have, rather than what your uh, friends have. Like, you're going to be the initiator, you definitely don't want to be on the same team as, like, clunk, derpel, sentry. Like, that's not going to be necessarily very useful. I mean, they'll be good, especially with the nuke and the explosion, but um, you won't have much mobility, so you'll get a... You'll, you, like, if you're up against, like, a penny or a frog or something like that, you're going to have a very hard time uh, dealing with how fast they're moving. That, that's that's one thing that Sentry is weak to is fast moving characters. This black hole can't deal with them. Oh, I, did I take the damage from that black hole? If I did, this black hole is gonna be huge. Yeah, I decided not. I'm just gonna do my uh, photon mine trick. Oh, oh, that was really close. That was really close. He ended up taking a bunch of damage, uh, but his his thing is definitely full. His, his shield is definitely full, so I need to be a little bit careful. There we go. So, he uh, he's weak to high mobility characters like Frog and Penny, who can just dash out of his black hole and not care. Um, he's also weak to uh, characters that don't deal a lot of damage. So, Genji, for instance, can put out push him fairly well. And... Any damage that Black Hole would deal, he can practically negate all of a good chunk of it with Blessing. So, that's what Sentry's going to have a problem with, is high mobility and people that can kind of just kind of that don't deal a lot of damage, that kind of go, oh, Black Hole, yeah, whatever. I don't totally care about that. However, he works really well with teammates that benefit from AoE. Uh, so, characters like Ayla, Plunk, Durples, uh, Nukes are going to be huge with Sentry. Uh, even Frog's NATO will be nice to have. Uh, he works well with every character. I can't think of a single character uh, where the ability to have Black Hole can't be abused. However, there are certain characters that he doesn't work as well with. Uh, like I mentioned before, Lone Star is one of those characters. He doesn't work super well with him. And uh, a character like Penny. Every once in a while, Penny's dash, pounce thing, will knock people out of his Black Hole. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. So keep, it, keep that in mind. Overall, he seems to be everybody's best friend right now, though, which is which is going to be cool. He's really strong for that. Oh, two-person black hole! <laughs> that was a good black hole. 
Uh, sure, they walked into it, but they dealt me a lot of damage. I managed to survive it, and then I dished out a black hole that it got both of them in place. The Vinny then dashed in afterwards. Good bull from the Lone Star. Too bad it pushed the sentry too far away. But uh, yeah, like that, that was a that was a good black hole. That's how the black hole do. All right, so I'm just mining up the beacon so that way when he teleports to it, if he teleports to it, he takes a bunch of damage and maybe I can kill him. But I think I, I've had a notoriously bad time trying to kill people that have been teleporting into their beacons. This just never worked. It's just never worked. Sentry's HP pool is large enough that all the Votan mines in the world can't kill him. Oh well. So I go ahead and I teleport back to my beacon. Beacon's on cooldown now. Uh, so I don't have a safe place to go back to. It's worth mentioning that not only is practicing black hole important, but knowing when to use your beacon is probably really important too. And beacon placement. Good beacon placement is what's going to make or break some sentries as well. If you place it behind where people will be pushing, and then you use it appropriately with your teammates, so, you know, good coordination, good uh, communication, then you will be able to do a lot more with sentry than if you were just playing and went, you know what, I'm going to just teleport behind my turret and all that stuff. Eh, no, 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 no. Think about it for a minute. Beacon does some damage. Like, you want to be using whatever you can on all your abilities at all times. So you want to kind of pop up in the middle of them. And on top of that, you can upgrade it to do a bunch of cool stuff, like silence or more damage or give you a heal. So you can kind of, like, beacon into a team, shield, and then on top of the shield, you're incre incredibly hard to kill or have a very low chance of dying because you have all this HP that's coming in. So you want to be using a uh, beacon to ambush people, not to kind of protectively pop up uh, behind your turret. You kind of want to be placing it in, in better places than that. So Penny dashed out and then walked right back into my black hole, but nobody was there to help me with it. Uh, Sentry's killing power is low. That's that's important to, to mention here, is that Sentry's ability to kill people on his own is actually extremely low. And uh, it's not recommended that you go for a I kill everything build or try to carry with this thing. Trying to carry with Sentry is nigh on impossible. So at this point, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I think I'm just trying to survive and I barely missed the black hole, but it's enough that uh, I wouldn't be able to build there. And yeah, at this point, I think we win. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there we are now. Oh, we're going to be winning there. I actually made it back to the base. I thought that we won because the camera was standing over. <laughs> anyway, so Sentry's a really good counter initiator. He can't gank or kill people. His time to kill people is extremely high. Uh, the time that it takes to kill people, I mean. Uh, he works well with almost everyone, but there are certain characters that he can work better with than others. Uh, Lone Star is a good synergy, so long as the Lone Star doesn't bowl. Uh, Penny, same deal, so long as she doesn't pounce people out of your black hole. But it's... The, the key things to practice with Sentry are going to be his positioning and learning when to use his stuff proactively to either ambush people with Beacon and then use the black hole to, uh, to, to counter-initiate, to really screw them over in a team fight. And landing the black hole is markedly more hard, uh, difficult than I thought it would be initially. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know I sure did. This was a fun match to do. This was a... Like the, the, this was this was a good time for everybody. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and try Sentry out now. He's live, so yeah, go play him. He's fun. He's a great time. He's a blast. Ah, he's, a, he's a black hole blast. He's a black hole. Anyway, bye.